れろ魚でなんでやねんボケに力の差を教えてやるよく見てくどぜようこそセロオスキュラス逆さまの世界アホか逃がすか Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Nitro Storm here, and we're back with another video. So, there's a new inheritance that dropped not too long ago, and the enemies are Hollow and Soul Reaper. So, this video is just gonna be about just to see who would perform better in terms of how I played them. So, we're gonna be comparing your boy Shinji and Okiora. Now, I know it might be Uh, not a good idea to compare a ranged character to a melee character but this is just you know for curiosity's sake just to see which one of them performs better for this inheritance but without further ado let's start off with our boy Okiora so as you can see I've recently got your boy Gold Yuki with the 30 SP not too long ago I did reroll to get 30 SP but I got the Yuki from a premium multi ticket multi so 30 30 30 170% SP on Oak plus we've given him 14 recharge frenzy Yoruichi and frenzy Byakuya so that will utilize the increased strong attack damage as well as keeping enough strong attack cooldown without further ado let's get right into the inheritance all right guys we're in so I guess we can start off with a charge attack real quick just to see the pretty nice stuff so pretty good damage and then do the wave attack and then uh, the wave attack that way just to uh, shoot them down oh I don't know why that didn't target anyone but there we go so if you guys want me to do an in-depth analysis on all my most of my mind characters to uh, because of I recently got my gold Yuki feel free to let me know which characters you want to see reviewed again So for example, I could redo mind games that I did them before and I give them a chance. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this bit. So that charge attack was pretty well performed. Moving on to the next room already. So just, uh, I think I'll, I'll do my wave attack here to shoot them down. Then in comes my wave attack. Nearly got hit there. I think I'll charge up over here. Let them come to me. Then let go. Then group them up like so. And then do my wave attack just to clean them all up wow that was actually smooth wow that's great and then we'll just do the and then charge up over here as they come to me and I let go that wasted some time unfortunately but what can you do <clears throat> and then just just to save some time do some of those and then uh, wait for these guys and boom and then group them up real quick And then more strong attacks here. I guess I'll just use my uh, my third strong attack there just to take out some people. I don't know why that happened, but again, wasting some time. Anyways, let's move on. So that was a pretty uh, big choke coming from me. But I think we can uh, save some time over here by charging up and then special. And there we go. So let's see what kind of time we did. That was my first time doing that run. So hopefully that doesn't really break the experiments right? since for Shinji I would have known how the map works then alright 1 minute 48 that's that's not bad at all and considering I didn't bomb one of the rooms because I wasn't sure where to bomb so I'll do the same for Shinji and not bomb a room anyways let's just have a look at Shinji's build even though it's gonna be pretty much the same one alright guys so just a quick overview on the build so 30 SP on all of them and then same links let's get right into it Alright guys, so so far, let's go take out the strong attacks. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big damage spike right there. I should have shot the other way, that was my fault. I guess you can just third strong attack there. And then take them out. Nice, Shinji did pretty nice. And then next one, there you go, that's what I'm talking about right there. Then attack those guys. Just wait for my uh, third strong attack to charge up, take them out. Second strong attack again. Clean up real quick. And then do some nad while I'm at it. And then uh, first strong attack. 
and then second those guys, and I guess we might as well do the third. Right, pretty smooth gameplay so far, Shinji. Pretty proud. Very high numbers because of the uh, killer increase, increase in effectiveness. Of course, of that though, I kind of messed up there, but damn, see that? Cleared out a few waves with that. Cleared out the rest of the second strong attack. Very nice. Moving on over here. Do some of that. And then do the first, the second strong attack. Or oh, never, or oh, not. We'll do, the, we'll do the third strong attack though. Then wipe them out. Oh, I got hit, but that's fine. No need to worry. And the first one. Delaying some time again, but there you go. And then finish off with the third strong attack. Easy. So, oh, we're already at a uh, boss room. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So, we'll just uh, second strong attack because we know we're going to hit your Chiru. We'll do some of that. Then do two. I don't know why I don't know why the first one didn't hit, but I mean, I mean, I guess we'll just do that. That was weird. I don't know why my first special didn't hit. I guess she was in the middle of a strong attack. Oh well, what's the time? And we got a new record. A eh? that means we uh, beat the time of uh, Oak. Oh, oh, that was a uh, pretty nice. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. As you can see, the Shinji was faster by 2 seconds, but at the same time, uh, I wasn't really that effective oh, with that one room. Kind of the same for Shinji, but since he doesn't have a Vortex move, the damage was more instant, so there was less time wasted. So I'd say all in all, they're both pretty viable, as in you can use either one, so if you don't have the up one and you have the other, then you shouldn't be too worried and then same for vice versa but in any case hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments if you want me to do some in-depth reviews with 170 sp for mine characters and then and then suggest which mine character i should do and if i do have them i'll make a review on them but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video peace